right away you're going to see a giant worm across the screen. Remember we talked about sending a ping down and the ping bounces off the bottom and anything that interrupts the ping shows up as a return. And we spoke about, you know, if you go over the fish really fast, the boat is moving fast, you may only hit the fish with one ping, so you only get like one little dot on the screen. And when a fish spends a lot of time under the transducer, it can absorb a lot of pings. So the history makes it look like it's a giant fish, but it's not. It's one fish who's just sitting under your transducer and we're just pinging the heck out of them, you know, over and over again. So you can see this one long worm here. There's several, but this one here, check this one out. Now you could see as the fish is moving around under the boat, like right here, the return here in the history is yellow. So that is our strongest return, right? Because uh, bottom is yellow, which is our strongest return. So we relate that, right? Yellow is our strongest return in this palette. So you can see where it's yellow right here. And then uh, as it's moving to the right here, which is closer to our present time, it weakens in signal. But the fish really has only moved down a few feet. So why is it weak? Well, it probably moved to the left or to the right and is now at the edge of the cone. So when it's at the edge of the cone, it uh, you know doesn't absorb as much energy and it shows as a weaker signal. It doesn't mean the fish is any smaller. You know, So when you see a school of fish and the arches can look all different sizes or all different colors, uh, it doesn't mean they're smaller fish. It just means they're probably at the edge of the cone uh, that the transducer is sending down. So the ping is probably just barely getting them. So you can see this fish was definitely moving around down there. Now at this time the boat is doing zero miles an hour. We have the anchor lock set on our motor guide. So the trolling motor is just sitting the boat perfectly still. And we're over the school of stripers and we're jigging them up. So if you see all these zigzags up and down, you'll see one here. And then you'll see a lighter one down here to the left in light blue. We had three or four guys uh, working jigs up and down under the boat. So that's what that is. That's the jigs going up and down. And again, back to this one fish here, this one long worm. If you notice, he's right along that zigzag up and down. That fish came up from the bottom. If you look all the way to the left here, that fish was on the bottom. And it came up and it looked at the jig. And it hung with the jig the whole time we were jigging it. Never did bite it but it was very interested in it. You can see how it stayed right with that jig. Now you'll see down here is a whole school of stripers. They're just very interested in that jig. And you can see how whoever was working that jig, at this point right here, they saw the school of fish on the screen and dropped the jig. So I dropped it probably 10 feet or so from 20 to 30 feet to try to get in that school and, you know, talk them into eating. So uh, that's what that is. You can see the jig moving down. Now, if we just went by the A-scope here, man, it would be so hard to determine that's what was happening. But you can see how that history scrolls from right to left. It just paints such a beautiful picture, you know, and shows really what was happening. Basically, you see this section here that's all fluttery? That's directly under us right this second. This is just a history, but that's what's under the boat right now. And they're hanging there. They're hanging there, we're gonna hang here. So you'll see, like, if you look at it and feel what you're doing, you can figure out which jig is yours. Yours is going down, that what? Now stop. Okay, that's you right there. See how it just stopped? Okay. And now drop it. And you'll see it go down. So now when a fish comes up, you can figure out if he's looking at yours. Or... I believe this fish here was just looking at yours the whole time you were jigging it. See him? He's very interested in your bait. <laughs> <laughs> Come right up. This fish is just... So you can see here and here, it was just completely infatuated with this jig going up and down, trying to figure it out, but just doesn't want to take it. You can see it come up, it's looking at it, it's just sitting, that fish is just sitting right under that jig. Come and get it. 